Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how to create AWS Lambda function using CLI. And the command what we have is AWS Lambda create function. And then we are going to pass some more argument. So one of the argument is function name. And over here, I'm passing the function name as dummy underscore Lambda underscore one. You can pass anything. Next argument is zip file where we need to provide the zip file location here and uh, if you have any external dependencies then those dependencies modules we have to keep inside this zip file now let's understand this over here i have one zip file created and name is function.zip and inside that i have one python file now the important point is if you have any external dependencies those dependency i have to keep inside this zip file and second point is while executing the aws cli command over here if you see i am in this lambda folder and in the same folder i have kept this function dot zip file next argument is handler where we are passing the file name dot function name so over here dummy underscore lambda underscore one is the file name and uh, second one where test underscore handler is function name once again let's look inside this function chip file and over here we have this python file which is dummy underscore lambda underscore one and if you see inside this file we have defined one function and name is test underscore handler so all the requests to the lambda function will be handled by this particular function now let's look into few more argument like runtime where we need to mention which programming language you are going to use and which version for this demo i am using python 3.9 you can use node or any other programming language supported in lambda then we have role where we need to provide lambda role arn and we have already covered this part where we created one lambda role and if you don't know you can refer that video i will share it in the description and the last part is providing the profile information like this command we need to execute using this particular profile over here if you see we don't have any lambda function and now let's go to the command prompt and we can execute the code so let's refresh this page and you can see lambda function has been created let's open this one and we have this well, it's taking a little bit time to load okay now let's test this code i'll create one test event test one execute you can see we are getting the proper output so thanks for watching